Pandoro is the Christmas bread from Verona, Italy. Its name means golden bread. Pandoro is traditionally a star-shaped bread that is dusted with powdered sugar. It is said that in Italy no Christmas meal is complete without either panettone or pandoro, or both. Just like panettone, this bread is made with lievito madre and with a very extensive but worth it process. Enjoy! To start this recipe, we're going to transform a regular sourdough starter in a lievito madre. I have in here a piece of a stiff sourdough starter that I have been feeding every 8 hours for the last 2 days with 25 grams or 1 and 3 quarter tablespoons of water, 25 grams or 1 tablespoon of sourdough starter and 50 grams in a third of a cup of bread flour. So after two days of this feeding schedule, I am going to give a bath to my sourdough starter to wash the lactic and acetic acids away from the sourdough starter. So in four cups of water at 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius, add three grams or half a tablespoon of sugar. Mix well with a silicone spatula and add 50 grams or a quarter cup of a stiff sourdough starter to the water. Let the sourdough starter sit in the water for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take the sourdough starter out of the water and remove the excess of water. Press it well with both hands and place it in a different bowl. Add 25 grams or 1 and 3 quarter tablespoons of water and 50 grams in a third of a cup of bread flour. Mix in the bowl all the ingredients until you get a stiff dough. Then use your hands to knead the dough inside of your bowl until there are no dry spots of flour remaining in the dough. Take the dough out of the bowl and roll it with a rolling pin at least three times. Add more flour if your dough needs it. Roll the dough tight like this. And place it in a container that is at least twice as big as your lievito madre. Fill the container with water at 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius and let it proof in a warm place at a maximum 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius for 4 hours. After 4 hours, your lievito madre should look like this one and it should be floating. So repeat the same process 2 more times every 4 hours. When your lievito madre is ready, take 90 grams or a third of a cup and place it in the bowl of a stand mixer. Add 220 grams or about 5 large eggs and 80 grams or 1 cup of sugar. Use a dough whisk to mix all the ingredients together. Mix until your sourdough starter is dissolved. Make sure your sourdough starter is well dissolved before proceeding with the recipe. Add 325 grams or 2 and 5 8 cups of red flour and mix with the dough hook until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Add 100 grams or a quarter cup plus 3 tablespoons of good butter. I am using European butter here because it has a bigger percentage of fat and improved flavor. Add the butter little by little. You need to make sure that the butter is well incorporated before adding more. Make sure that the dough doesn't go above 
80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius of temperature while you are mixing. If your dough gets too hot, place it in the fridge for about 15 minutes and continue with the recipe. In the end, you should get a dough that is soft, elastic, and pulls off the walls of the bowl, like this one. Take the dough out of the bowl and place it on your working table. Stretch and fold it a couple times and make a bowl with the dough. Place the dough in a large proofing bowl and let it proof at 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius for at least 14 hours or until it triples in size. Now, in a stand mixer, fit it with the wire wick attachment, place 100 grams or a quarter cup plus 3 tablespoons of butter at room temperature, 50 grams or 7 tablespoons of confectioner sugar, 10 grams or half a tablespoon of honey, 30 grams or 3 tablespoons of grated white chocolate, and the beans of one vanilla pot. Make sure to use real vanilla and not the extract to get the characteristic flavor of the original pandoro. Whip all the ingredients together until you get a well emulsified butter. Place the butter in a container and place it in the fridge overnight. It took 14 hours for my first dough to triple in size. Yours could take a little longer or less, but make sure to let it triple in size before continuing with this recipe. Now, very gentle, let the dough drop in the bowl of your stand mixer. Do not touch the dough with a spatula so the gluten structure stays intact. Use the hook attachment to knead the dough and add 55 grams or a quarter cup of flour, little by little. Let the dough absorb well the flour and then add 5 grams or half a teaspoon of diastatic malt powder. Add 55 grams or a quarter cup of egg yolks. Add the egg yolks and all the ingredients little by little to allow the dough to incorporate well all the new ingredients. Add all the emulsified butter that you prepared the previous night at room temperature. Finally, add 6 grams or 1 teaspoon of sea salt. Check the temperature of your dough. It has to be less than 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius. Check the elasticity. If you can see your dough is elastic and transparent as this one, you are done kneading. Take the dough out of the bowl and place it on your working table. Stretch and fold it several times. Make a bowl of dough and let the dough rest covered for one hour. After one hour, shape your dough by turning it on itself several times to add the final tension to the dough. Place the dough in a greased 750 gram Pandoro pan. Push it in lightly to avoid any air bubbles. Let the dough proof at 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius for about 4 to 6 hours or until the dough reaches the rim of the pan. Bake in a preheated oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius for about one hour. Place a piece of foil on top of the bread after 30 minutes and keep cooking until the interior of the bread reaches at least 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 degrees Celsius. 
If your bread is not ready, let it cook five more minutes and check the temperature again. When your bread is ready, take it out of the oven and place it on a cooling rack. Let the bread cool off for at least one hour and then flip the bread around and let it cool completely for at least eight hours. Remove the pan from the bread that at this point should release easily. And enjoy the view of your Pandoro. Grab the Pandoro in plastic wrap and let it rest for two more days before slicing it. So the flavor of the Pandoro intensifies. After two days, dose the Pandoro with confectioner's sugar to give that classic snowy effect. And you are ready to slice it. In the end, you can slice it and arrange it as a Christmas tree. This bread will exceed your expectations. The flavor profile is incredible. It is soft, delicious, and it will be a great addition to your Christmas table. Enjoy. Hey, I really hope you can try this Pandoro. This bread is so delicious, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. If you like this video, please click in the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new video every week. Thank you for watching.